What's the worst outcome of a joke that you have ever heard about? Well, the story I'm about to tell you right now, I'm sure is going to jump straight up there to the top of your list, so stay tuned. Right guys, I was not planning on making a video. As you can see, I'm here in my home office, I'm here with Pachi, but I saw this piece of news jumping up on mentorpilot.com and I thought I have to explain this to you guys. So the story starts on the 3rd of July, just last week in London Gatwick Airport in the United Kingdom. An EasyJet flight, flight 8303, was scheduled to fly from London and down to Mahoon Airport in uh, Menorca in the Balearic Islands in Spain. This uh, flight was supposed to be flown by an Airbus A319, which uh, takes about 156 passengers normally. We don't know exactly how many passengers are on this flight, but we do know that there was a gang of youngsters. They were probably going down for vacation. But in that group, there was an 18-year-old male, and he decided that it would be a good idea to play a little bit of a prank on social media. We still don't know which social media platform he used, if it was Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or whatever it was. But anyway, he decided that he was going to joke about potentially carrying some kind of explosives with him. So, said and done, he apparently sent this out and then he boarded the flight. The flight was supposed to leave at 12.45 and it was about 50 minutes delayed. Maybe it was during that delay that he got bored and decided to make this joke, who knows. But the aircraft departed after that 50 minute delay. It uh, flew normally down to, towards the Pyrenees and uh, then it started its descent, right? It actually flew straight over my head here in Girona. But the thing is that during this time the aircraft was airborne and flying down towards Spain, someone alerted the authorities, okay? And the authorities in the UK did not think that this was a funny joke. So they alerted their representatives or their counterparts in Spain who didn't appreciate the joke either. In fact, they launched a, at least one, possibly two fighter jets towards the aircraft, which intercepted the aircraft. Uh, it flew up on the right hand side, which we saw a couple of Twitter posts about. It came out, it did a couple of what we call wing tips, which is when it's rocking forth and back. This is generally a signal between the fighter jet pilots and the pilots in the Airbus that the Airbus pilots are supposed to follow this aircraft down. Now, in this case, I'm not sure if that was actually the, the point because as far as I understood, they were in radio contact with the crew. But anyway, the passengers obviously saw this fighter jet escorting them down towards Menorca. The aircraft continued down and it landed normally on runway 19 in Menorca. But after landing, things got a little bit more serious. So instead of taxiing into the terminal, which they were supposed to do, the aircraft was directed over towards a remote part of the airport. Now, this is normal procedure if there is a chance of, or, or there is a bomb threat against an aircraft. They're not going to take them in towards the, the passenger terminal building. So the aircraft parked, and once it had parked, the passengers could look out through the windows and see that their luggage was being put up on the, uh, on the tarmac, and then the passengers were called out one by one to go down and identify their own piece of luggage, and then there was a sniffer dog there that was sniffing for explosives to make sure that there was nothing dangerous inside of the baggage before they could remove their baggage. Now, as you can imagine, doing something like that takes a lot of time. It took a couple of hours to do this. And during those two hours, the 18-year-old that had been identified as making the threat was apprehended and uh, taken to jail. Together with his uh, fellow friends, actually, they were taken in as witnesses. So instead of getting to spend the first couple of nights in a nice hotel somewhere in Menorca, this youngster spent it in jail until he had time to get in front of a judge and eventually a few days later he was released on a 10,000 euro bail. But he is remanded, he needs to stay in Spain until there's time for the trial and uh, we'll see what's going to happen in the trial. There is a possibility that he might be sent back to the UK as well to stand trial there uh, because he actually committed the crime there. But this goes to show that something that you, in the whiff of a moment, might think would be a funny or hilarious thing to, to say, a joke about explosive bombs or terrorism, is just never funny. And the way that the aviation industry would react to this is they have to take it seriously. So this is going to be potentially very, very costly for this young man. 
right? So not only is it possible that EasyJet is going to have to foot the bill for the fighter being sent up, that can cost as much as 50,000 euro and it's very likely that EasyJet will then just send on that bill to, to this young gentleman. Um, on top of that, there is the cost of the delay. There was further delays on the airport. Several other flights from other airlines were also interrupted because of this. And this is in the, you know, in the midst of the summer traffic where we can all see that there's a lot of other types of disruptions happening. So this is literally the last thing that is needed right now for something stupid like this to happen. So we don't know what's going to happen to this young man, all right? He's gonna face some criminal charges for sure. But on top of that, there's also something called the no-fly list, right? This is a list that airlines have put together where if they have encountered passengers who've been unruly or have committed unlawful acts on board the aircraft, they are added to this list. And it will effectively make it impossible for those persons to, to fly again on that airline and on other airlines that are also part of this shared uh, no-fly list. So there is every possibility that on top of having to pay thousands and thousands of euros and having a criminal record, this person might not be able to fly on a, a flight, at least not with this airline, but possibly with any airline for the foreseeable future. So please think about these things before you make a joke of this kind, right? It's not funny, it wouldn't have been funny even if it wasn't illegal, and it is illegal. That's it guys, if you want to hear news like this or other aviation related news, go to mentopilot.com. We have a lot of new stuff being uploaded every single day from the aviation world. Now check out this video next, which I think that you're going to really enjoy and have an absolutely fantastic day. Bye bye.